So it is uh, May 28th. I'm here on Kettle Creek. We're up here out in Potter County, out in God's Country, doing a little fishing. Uh, just kind of stepped into the first spot on the stream because we had to start somewhere. So we started here. And a bit of a flattish section. Um, so we'll give it a try. Uh, saw some, uh, <laughs> actually found a green drake uh, this morning. It was beautiful and drakes are supposedly coming off and the sulfurs are starting and right now we're still in the put and take area so um, we'll eventually work our way up to the delayed harvest section and then into the catch and release only section. It's very pretty and very peaceful. Julie's working a riffle and a run down there. And uh, hopefully we'll just get into some fish, you know. Otherwise we're in a beautiful place. And who doesn't love being in beautiful places? Alright. Awesome. Here, stop dragging them out of the air. Darn. Okay, stop pulling them in. Raise your rod tip up, and bring him over to you. Okay, let him go. He's not done. There you go. You're going to have to kneel down, honey. Huh? You're going to have to kneel down. Okay. You're not standing in two feet of water. Actually, that's okay. You touched him. It counted. <laughs> you touched him. It counted. Yeah, that's what it is. That's the difference. Alright, so today I am standing on the Big Pine Creek. Um, watching some people float by. I actually have fish working out in front of me. Um, it's pretty nice. It's been cold. It's been rainy. We actually uh, left Kelly Creek to, or Kettle Creek to uh, go into the town of Gilton to um, dry our stuff because just two nights of rains, heavy rains, got everything wet. So I'm just kind of watching the water here. Seeing what's going on. I see fish working. Very, sometimes very gently, sometimes mm, not so gently. It's a lot of bugs on the water, little white ones. But apparently there was a really great uh, green drake catch yesterday, so. Let's see, I'm just gonna throw, what was that bug? I'm just gonna throw this out there and see what happens. And uh, if I get nothing on top, I mean, I'll just shift to a, uh, shift to a dropper rig and go from there all right Okay, so I've got my first Pine Creek trout on. I switched to a sulfur and uh, got a nice rainbow on. 
and I think I'm just going to net them. Let's see what we got here. Easy, 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 easy. Nice fish. Very nice fish. Easy, buddy. Easy. Easy. He's actually off. He's off the hook. Tell you what, I'll get... You let me get the hook out of there. All right, that net, that hook is stuck in the net, so I'm just gonna. Whoop. Come here, come here, come here. Let me, let me get a grip on. Let me get a hold of you. All right, and you are a nice 14-inch rainbow. That's a beautiful fish. That's a nice, nice fish. First big pine trout. Go on. You're good. All right, let's see if I can get my fly out of my net. Okay, so we're back on Kettle Creek today. Um, it's not raining, which is very nice. We were here two days ago in light rain, and um, this is the pool where Julie was kicking my ass yesterday. And um, I just picked up and lost one on a nice stone fly. They're not, uh, there's a ton of bugs on the water and caught up in the foam with the occasional uh, sporadic rise. But um, we're just waiting for the afternoon wake up as the bugs continue to get thicker on the water. Um, it sure is beautiful. There's a long, gentle glide all the way up there. There's a guy working well ahead of us. He hiked up a ways. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll take a look at this later. Don't know. But, uh, there you go. Let's see how we do today. Alright. Let's see what I got. Let's see what we have. Because he's definitely angry like a wild fish. What we got? What is he? He's pretty. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, that is... That's a... Oh, it's a pretty fish. That's a brown. That's a beautiful brown. Gee whiz, buddy. Gotta wonder if he's alone or if there's another one over there. Look at him. He's just gorgeous. He's, and he's not giving up anytime soon. And I don't want to break him off. Huh? He is a pretty decent size. He's very angry. Oh, come here. Oh. Oh, 
man. Come here. Oh, come here. Very nicely hooked. Oh, what a beauty. What a freaking, what a, oh, come here. Wow, that's gorgeous. Come on. No, yes, just take it. Got it. Lovely fish. Oh, that is a lovely fish. Very nice. There you go. Bye bye, Mr. Fish. Okay, so it's the last day of our Kettle Creek weekend. The sun finally came out after three days of rain and cold and yuck. And uh, just hitting the creek in one last spot, hitting Kettle Creek, one last spot before we head out. Um, last time I was through this spot was 30 years ago and it's changed quite a bit. There's been a lot of stream work done. Uh, definitely some habitat management, so. This is really beautiful. Um, so I'm going to fish a little bit and then get out of here for heading home. Well, this is the big pool that I remember from 30 years ago. I actually remember those trees being a little smaller. But this is exactly what I remember. And it is beautiful. Little side feeder coming in. You know, I have to say, I got to give uh, the Kettle, Kettle Creek Conservation people a real round of applause. Um, it's nice to come back to a place 30 years later and see that people really cared about it and made a mission out of turning it into a really excellent fishery and beautiful place. Wow. That's just really nice. Well, it looks like the next time I come here, I'm going to have to... Uh, Gonna have to fish this first rather than see it last. Very cool. Alright, and then uh, we're gonna head our way, head our way back home. At least we had some sunshine on our last day. Because it was yucky. But we caught fish. That's good.